Hello everyone. Uh, again with the video. In uh, this time, I will uh, present you my long-term expectations about the instruments that I cover at the uh, Snail Trading. As uh, most of you already know, uh, I had uh, recently some uh, medical issues, and now that I'm able to work again, I'm starting to updating my charts. Uh, obviously, this uh, last two months that I was um, away from the markets and away from the charts, a lot of things happened and it appears that um, we have uh, some uh, major trend reversals across the board and uh, my understanding is that um, it is uh, mostly uh, due to a trend change that is developing uh, on uh, the US dollar. So let me show you my updated weekly charts because um, I'm still uh, not ready with uh, all the uh, internal wave counts. So in this, uh, in this article and in this video, I'm gonna just present you uh, the, the, the long-term chart, the weekly charts. I will uh, continue working on uh, the daily four hour and one hour charts during the week and I hope that um, next weekend I will be able to start um, creating content for uh, all the pairs uh, individually like I did before. So enough talking, let's start with, uh, with the Yozi. I was... Um, I was... Uh, Initially, I was uh, thinking that this was not the end of this downtrend. I was uh, I was believing that uh, here was wave four, and thus I was expecting the downtrend to continue. But it appears that um, that's probably not the case. First of all, I don't like this choppy price action to be uh, a wave two, and from here we have the third wave to the downside uh, because. It is already very deeply retraced wave one here this i was expecting this to be wave one this is already very deeply retraced and very choppy and um, i started uh, examining a scenario where everything is finished here i mean this this uh, downtrend is finished here and i'm looking for uh, a new uptrend that has already started um, actually the beginning of last year so if that's the case uh, we're certainly within the third wave the third blue wave and this should be wave one uh which found resistance at the 144 period as may uh, of course that scenario needs prices to bounce above this as may before we get more confident and before the momentum turns bullish because uh, i see that the rsi is still below the 50 level but uh I'm, uh, I'm, I believe that uh, this should happen in the following weeks. So if that's the case, we have one ABC. Uh, the internals here are a little tricky, but I'm working on them. Uh, one ABC for two, and now we're looking for one, two, three, four, five for wave red one up here somewhere. Uh, I'm quickly moving into the euro where most of you are interested in. It appears um, that um, the recent rebound is uh, really strong and it has already retraced much of uh, our uh, uh, wave four. And while prices remain below this level, there is still a possibility that um, we are still uh, within uh, wave five. But uh, as prices advance, the odds are, uh, are uh, in favor of uh, this bullish scenario. Uh, the internals here are um, suggesting that this was an ending diagonal for wave five. So the downtrend, the long-term downtrend was completed here. And uh, now we're looking for a new uptrend. The break above this 55 SMA is important. Also the reaction, we had a break here. Uh, an attempt to reverse lower which was rejected here so this is this is definitely definitely a bullish sign and that strong bull uh, ca bullish candle that followed is also a clear sign of um, of a bullish reversal 
However, I must admit that uh, price action in here is quite choppy and uh, that means that uh, we we'll, would we'll have to either accept uh, a leading diagonal like that, I mean one, two, three, four, five, which means that a lot of choppiness will follow, or we can also accept a scenario where we have one, two, one, two, three, and we'll continue directly to the upside from here. If you ask me, I prefer this scenario, the more bullish one that we continue. But uh, for that to play out, we need to see prices breaking above this uh, uh, long term 144 week SMA. Uh, we can see on the RSI that we have a clear break of a decli declining trend line, which um, certainly changes the long term momentum of the pair. But for now, uh, and as long prices remain below this SMA, we just have to be cautious. Let's go here to to the um, British pound. Um, we immediately see what I was talking a few seconds before here about this reaction. We see the same reaction here. Prices found some resistance here. They tried to reverse. They failed to reverse, and we have. Uh, a continuation of of the of the bull trend so here something that i missed to add this this is the the end of a very very uh large trend here a very large abc move uh and this is a very odd looking uh very odd looking ending diagonal abc for wave one a, B, C for wave 2, A, B, C for wave 3, A, B, C for wave 4, and A, B, C for wave 5. That should be something uh, like a leading diagonal, like an ending diagonal, excuse me, here. Let me add those lines, but I will remove them because uh, they look badly. Uh, like that, something like that. I'm looking into something like that, an ending diagonal. Well, if that's the case and this scenario is correct, we may see prices advancing uh, without without any significant correction. Um, and I believe that this is what we are going to, to see here. Also, we see on the RSI this declining trend line was clearly broken. We also see the reaction here. Break, reversal, support and bounce, which is a clear uh, trend reversal pattern. Um, I'm looking into more bullishness. Uh, of course, this area here provides some serious resistance, but uh, I believe that uh, somehow the pair will manage to to break uh, this resistance and continue higher towards this uh, SMA, which uh, currently appears at the 1.43 figure. Moving on on uh, the Kiwi and here I had to make some serious changes in uh, in the whole chart, changing the levels, the degree, the degrees of those waves here. So instead of expecting a wave W here, an X up here and a Y here, I expect the whole correction to be uh, complete here with an ABC that I was looking before to be just a wave W. And uh, now I'm looking for another A, B, C that will push prices to much higher levels. So uh, one, two, three, four, five for wave A, A, B, C, uh, W, X, Y for wave B, and um, another. Um, and excuse me, this is incorrect here. I have to. I have. I have to correct this. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, this is here, and uh, yeah, this is A, B, C. I have to correct this. I will do that. Uh, I will do that later on. Let me just. Uh, and this is. Uh, this has also to be corrected on the, on the chart that I posted on the article. But please excuse me uh, for for that. I'm still not uh, fully recovered. I'm getting tired very easily, so excuse me in advance for uh, for.
for such mistakes so here we are this this is it this is it and that has to be of course a W and up here that should be an X and down here that should be a Y okay and since that completes uh, completes my um, W X Y for wave B we are looking for a five wave move to the upside for wave C and with that choppiness here I can only think of this being um, a leading diagonal like ABC wave 1 ABC wave 2 some ABC inside here for wave 3 and then wave 4 ABC for wave 5 and this is wave 1 this WXY, WXY which uh, I'm not sure that it's completed yet we may see another low here uh, and generally as long as prices remain below the SMAs the the risk for uh, for a, uh, a lower wave uh, 2 uh, is still high but um, our uh, intermarket analysis with all that weak weakness for the USD I believe that uh, it shouldn't take long for uh, prices to continue advancing and break above the SMAs for our wave 3 that will push prices to much higher levels so now moving forward to the loony um, here there are not uh, big not big changes I was uh, actually expecting this um, this uh, price action here to be a correction uh, for a long time and it appears that the last rally that um, was pretty much expected from my previous analysis so far uh, it is now complete it is a very very complex correction here which you can see on my uh, previous uh, posts previous articles updates and reports on on the loony uh, it is uh, a correction that it is um, W X Y Z for a completed wave two here. Again, I cannot be completely confident that this is the end of wave two. We may see another attempt up here. However, if prices drop below this level here, uh, that would confirm the end of wave two, and also a break below the channel will also give us more. Uh, confident that uh, this wave 2 is in place uh, and then we will be looking for a decline at least toward this level uh, where uh, this could be an ABC if it is indeed an 1 2 that I'm looking for this will be a wave 3 and we're looking for a much much lower decline and I believe that um, considering the the expectations my expectation for for crude oil I believe that this is a wave 3 that will push prices uh, much much lower in the coming weeks and months moving forward to the Swiss franc yeah uh, yeah here price action has been choppy for the last few the last couple of years um, even more after this dramatic decline that was followed the uh, followed the decision of um, the Swiss Central Bank uh, to cut the interest rate to minus 0 0.75 um, since then we had a very sharp rally and a lot of choppiness this choppiness uh, indeed took the form of uh, an expanded an expanded um, diagonal and this very um, small new high appears to be the end of uh, wave 5 uh, and also represents a, a double top pattern or it's triple top pattern one top here one top here one top here and then a reversal for some time the 55 uh, week SMA was providing um, significant support but also the 21 week SMA was providing serious resistance here it appears that the battle um, found its winner and the winners are the bears uh, this is also a clear a clear um, 
dark cloud cover pattern, uh, which also happened here uh, and here. And uh, this is the first time the pair closes below the 144 uh, week SMA since uh, this is uh, since August 2015. Of course, we must see this week prices to continue dropping below this SMA and that will confirm my expectations for a new downtrend in this pair. We also see that prices are, uh, are capped by a declining trend line and we also see that the same holds true in the RSI, in the RSI, uh, which also uh, broke below uh, the level, uh, this level here, which was the lower since uh, since um, March 2016. This decline here is important because it opens the path towards this level, which, as you can see, it is a huge decline ahead of us uh, and if my broader count is correct this to be the end of wave three this to be a one uh, the end of wave four we are certainly looking for a decline below this level in the long term but of course this um, this is a, a very very long term assumption we need to see this decline to accelerate before we uh, before we get very excited for this expected downtrend Moving on to the Japanese yen, and here we see again how prices uh, were rejected at the 144 period SMA here. And last week, a sharp decline uh, confirmed this rejection, and we're moving towards this SMA, the 55 week SMA. Uh, of course, this uh, is part of a much, much larger pattern, which uh, I couldn't possibly include even in a monthly chart. Uh, I'm looking at a very, very long term um, triangle. This is uh, C, uh, D, if I remember. Yeah, okay, let's not. This is an A, B, C, and here an A, B, C that will probably not reach this level, something like that, and then another BC, if my very, very long term count is correct. For now, we see that uh, prices were rejected and uh, this trend line keeps uh, the momentum uh, bearish. I want to see prices uh, moving below the 50 level, that uh, the 50 level at the RSI, we see that we are in the correct path here and also prices moving below this SMA for the downtrend to accelerate. Gold. Here we have some serious changes uh, about my expectations. I was initially expecting this wave B to finish somewhere here with uh, some different pattern in here, but it appears that wave B is uh, completed here. So if my broader, if my broader count is correct here, and we have one, two, three, four, five for wave A. This should be wave B. And that wave B um, will likely take the form of an ABC, where wave C uh, may move um, around these levels here, uh, which means that uh, there are about $400 to be added to the current price of uh, gold. What's important here is to see that um, the 144 uh, week SMA represents now a major support level. We see that first here, then we have a break here on this cross uh, but surely after that price is advanced very fast to move above the SMA, a rejection of the 55 SMA support. Uh, after that, a push above the SMA, again a drop and again support. Now all I want to see is a break above this SMA. And um, yes, that scenario, that bullish uh, scenario for gold moving higher will be confirmed after we see a break above this level. I believe we're very close to that because I see that um, 
the uh, RSI saw some serious bullish momentum here and uh, the um, we assume an inverse relationship between the US dollar and gold and since I am expecting lower US dollar uh, I have to assume that gold, gold is going to advance in, uh, in the coming weeks and months. Moving forward to crude oil, no big surprises here. I have been uh, calling for uh, the major decline here for quite some time now. You can go back to my reports uh, on the website and see um, that uh, I have been bullish on crude oil for quite some time. I was I also predicted with quite some accuracy accuracy this um, this top here and I was expecting this ABC correction for wave two and it appears that this complete here a strong rebound now all I want to see is a break above this uh, 144 week SMA we see we saw some rejection here I want to see a break above it now and that will open the path for some serious rally here and let me add uh, uh, Fibonacci expansion here to see uh, the most um, probable uh, wave three target, which is up here, and that also coincides with some uh, resistance that the instrument will uh, likely face within this triangle and this wave one low, uh, and that is uh, around the ninety dollar, the ninety dollar mark which is about 100% uh, increase from current levels. This is huge. This is uh, something that uh, uh, I'm certainly looking into uh, benefit from it. Now we are going to towards our um, uh, expectation, my expectations for uh, S&P 500. There is really not much to say here. Uh, it is, I mean, I don't know how to describe this, but uh, S&P 500 is in a clear bull trend. I had my, um, in, back in 2016, I was expecting uh, a different pattern, a more bullish one, but uh, somewhere around here, I was very confident that we are in a very long term bull trend that is going to move towards much, much higher levels. Around this level, I was calling for uh, a 2600 um, level to be hit. Now we are 230, uh, 200, 2380. We are looking for at least. Uh, 300 points to the upside from here. We saw last week uh, uh, a sharp drop, but uh, prices found support at this SMA. Uh, I don't expect this decline to continue. I expect the pool, the bulls to remain in charge and move forward to toward the sky, as I said in, in uh, the respective article. The same holds true for uh, the German DAX. Around this level, again, I uh, forecasted that um, DAX is heading towards new all-time highs. Unfortunately, I had my medical issues when that happened. Uh, now I'm back uh, and I see that um, the index is uh, pretty much in a very, very strong bull trend, even in the short term. So no big changes here I'm looking forward to much higher levels the next mark is uh, 13,000 and we're looking up from there the momentum is clearly bullish we see supported uh, how it is supporting supported by a rising trend line the RSI is uh, above 70 and uh, now it is, it is about to test this threshold and possibly continue moving uh, into deeper into the overbought, um, overbought threat level of uh, this momentum indicator. That pretty much sums up everything uh, for my uh, long-term expectation for the instrument that I cover in uh, snail trading. And um, 
during the week, as I already said, I'm going to work on the lower time frames and I may provide you with some updates on the website. But for now, uh, I strongly advise you to um, I strongly advise you to uh, create a Slack account uh, and uh, be part of uh, our Slack team where I regularly post uh, short term charts until I'm ready with uh, all my accounts. Thank you very much for watching and um, we'll keep in touch uh, in the Slack group during the week.